Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another guide. Today's guide's gonna be on a weapon from the Fight for Sanctuary DLC. That weapon is an assault rifle known as the Toothpick. The Toothpick is an effervescent assault rifle manufactured by Dahl. Some of you might also refer to it as Rainbow Rarity. The red text on this weapon reads, A simple solution to a dire problem. After a bit of research, I couldn't pinpoint exactly what this might be referring to. The closest I could find was a quote by H. L. Mencken, who was an American journalist back in the late 1800s. He quotes, There is always a well-known solution to every human problem. This could also refer to the set bonus you get when you pair this item with the retainer shield. I will be covering that set bonus in a different video. To get this gun, you're going to want to talk to Vaughn over at the back burner. He will give you a side mission called The Hunt is Vaughn. Now, if he doesn't have that mission yet, go ahead and complete some of the main DLC story and also other side missions from Vaughn. Eventually, he will give you the mission. Follow the mission waypoint and it will take you over to the burrows. Once you are there, group up with the new recruits again, and you guys will be taking on some sandworms. These sandworms are the enemy you want to farm for this drop. It will drop from both the queen sandworms and also the basic sandworms too. Before you proceed on though, do not complete this mission. The reason for that is the queens do not respawn. The basic ones will respawn. And you might be asking, why is it a big deal? Well, the queens have a higher chance to drop this item. The basic sandworms have a much lower chance. If you're on PC, you can set your save to read-only mode. I will link Killer6's tutorial below if you want to learn how to read-only farm. If you're on console, you will want to close the game after every farm you do. You can do that by going to your dashboard and quitting your game. Just make sure your game does not save, otherwise you're stuck farming the basic sandworms. Like I said, you can farm the basic ones, but it's at a much lower chance for the drop. After my second try at this farm, I ended up getting the drop. Like all other effervescent items, you can tell it by the unique and shiny skin it has. It would be really hard to miss it with its bright rainbow glow and a higher light beam. If it does drop, it would be pretty hard to miss it. Now, this gun will always drop in fire element. It will also always be times 2 and consume 6 ammo per shot. When you shoot this gun, you will notice it has a very similar effect to the pitchfork. It will shoot 2 sets of 5 horizontal bullets. With it being dull, you can also aim down sight and burst fire it. I am going to say now that this weapon is really good, but it chews through so much ammo, so be aware of that. When you shoot bigger enemies with it in which you can hit all your bullets, this thing does massive damage. Like I said before, this gun is part of a 3 part set bonus, and I will be covering that in another video. Let me know what you guys think about this gun below. I think it's really awesome because dull assault rifles are usually looked down upon in this game. After messing with this gun, it is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and of course, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome, and I will catch you guys later. Yeah, peace out.